Greetings and welcome to This Horrible Goose. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am joined by the wonderful Tony and Mari. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. hello. So this is a game that is inspired by For the Queen, uh, which is kind of an RPG uh, style kind of game of uh, asking questions, have, having prompts on cards, and then we answer the questions. And we're going to use our creativity to come up with a really great story for you, we hope. Um, so this is a special Halloween edition. The uh, We have never played this game before, but the blurb on the game said it's about this horrible goose in the neighborhood and we descend into chaos and so it should be slightly scary and we'll try to add some spookiness maybe to it and um yeah and so we're gonna try to play this for you today so welcome and we hope you enjoy this format let us know if you enjoy these kind of games and we'll try to play more on our channels um so uh shall we begin would you like to be the narrator tony i can be the narrator that would be fine <laughs> <laughs> yes i will be maniacal Yes. All right. So the narration at the beginning of this one is fairly short anyways. So you live in a neighborhood which has been plagued by a horrible goose. Each of your lives has had to adapt as a result. Let me just say one thing. We think this is definitely inspired by Untitled Goose Game, right? Oh, because like look at, the graphics oh, totally. already and <laughs> horrible goose. Yes. <laughs> this this is definitely un Untitled Goose Game, the villager side. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Some something about an in invincible goose that terrorizes a small town occasionally. Yes, yes. Like very, very on brand. Mm -hmm. Many of you will never be the same. Mm. Your goose. By some never. divine grace, you have been given some respite from the goose's reign of terror. Oh my god. You know very well that this will not last forever. Take turns drawing question cards and answering them. You are encouraged to ask each other follow-up questions. If you do not wish to answer a question, you can pass it to the next player or ignore it. And then it just kind of, the this interface just kind of jumps right into the game. We don't have a- All right, so shall we decide a uh, an order to which we are gonna answer the questions? Uh, that would be a really good idea. Hmm. So I can go first, or if somebody yeah, else sure. would prefer. Yeah, sure. I I I feel like I, I'm very like sometimes my brain latches onto a thing. We can use the same order we were doing for the queen in. So Tony, Mari, me. Is that that good? works for me. Okay. Okay, I'll go first. You learned the hard way not to underestimate the goose. What happened? Ooh. I think I think I tried to hit it with a rake one time. Like I, I was trying to scare it away, and I got and I got really aggressive, and I tried to hit it with a rake, and it just kept coming. Oh my god. The goose just didn't didn't stop. Oh like my. like hitting it with the rake doesn't doesn't do anything. Like Oh wow, that's a like a power <laughs> goose, huh? Like it 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 is an invincible goose. Oh. Okay. That sounds rough. Um and hmm. I think that's I think that's why that's why I think that's part of why we're terrified. We can't do anything about right. this we goose. We can't do it's... anything about this goose. I kind of wish you had given that question to me because I had a perfect answer, but I, I, I mean, will I will you accept like your answer. Something? Well, uh, I I I learned the hard way because the goose bit me. <gasps> See, I am if you play WoW, you'll know exactly what I am. I'm an infected squirrel, and guess how I got infected is this rabid freaking goose running around and biting me. And now I'm like the undead. I, I'm like, I have like green mist around me all the time, and it's hard for me to collect nuts for the winter time. And this is, this is just bad times, right? I, that's how I learned that, that goose has branded me forever. And now I'm like part, is it like undead or is it zombie or something? What is an infected squirrel? It's just infected, right? right? I, I don't actually don't know because I've never really played WoW. Oh, I mean, I did, okay, right. It's 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 while. like a, it's a pet. It's a mini pet that you can get in WoW <laughs> from the from the wilderness, and like they are they look kind of gross. They have like some like flesh dripping off, and like I there are assume... parts of them that are like you know there's no I skin played... on parts. And hmm? I played WoW for a time. I didn't know that existed. I would have been that would have been a pet. Oh yeah, that's in the <laughs> oh, northeastern part of the eastern continent thing. Uh, uh -huh. I forget what the zone is called, but you can catch them in the wild, those infected squirrels. But yeah, 
yeah, yeah i haven't played mm-hmm. wow since like the since it initially released like there weren't right. even any expansions right. out but anyway i'm i'm going full halloween on this you and your rake come on Yay! get more creative hey, hey, tony hey, hey, let's hey. go i am not <laughs> done establishing my character yet and i'm totally okay with it being an invincible zombie disease spreading ghost uh goose, goose. maybe that's right. that's okay yeah, all right said let's ghost. go it's a goose, goose. <laughs> it's a go- well it's white goose. it is white it mm. might be a ghost you we never know, know. it could be Ghosts it is somehow white. invincible and it has turned a squirrel into well, a zombie. Well, it's invincible in for a rake. I mean, if you had a shotgun, it might not be. <laughs> it might not be invincible. Maybe, it, shotgun. maybe it's made out of ectoplasm where, like, you hit it with the rake and it goes right through the tines, you know? Is it slimy? You never can tell. You never, I don't know. I, well, no, actually, it can't be slimy if it bit me, you know? The beak slimy. felt pretty hard. But then again, maybe it picked up the beak at a novelty shop, like a Halloween costume shop. Where you can like have a have a mechanical beak that you have like a little lever to operate. I don't know. It's not even a goose anymore. <laughs> I don't even know it's a horrible goose. That's all I know. Okay, sorry. I have completely taken over your prompt, Tony. I think we should go to the next question. <laughs> we should. Mari, it's your turn. Alrighty. What impossible thing have you seen the goose do? Who did not believe you when you told them what happened? Ooh. I uh, been um. But you see, these, I'm just like a local like photographer. I just take nature photos. And this one time I was out in the woods, I almost got the perfect picture of that plague squirrel. <laughs> and this dang goose suddenly came out of nowhere. I'm a celebrity! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and he had a Jason Voorhees mask on his head. <laughs> I swear there was also a knife. I I I couldn't run fast enough. Mm. Worst part is I left my dang camera there and everything. Oh no! It was still there the next day, but who, who it rained didn't all believe? night. I mean, because this we know this goose is dangerous. All of us here. Who who did you tell that they didn't believe I, you? I tried to tell the locals, but they said no. That's too simple. It would it wouldn't just wear a Voorhees mask. <laughs> That's too plain, Jane. <laughs> oh, People dear. Nerve. Oh, the nerve, <laughs> indeed. That sounds rough. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. What promise have you had to break because of the goose's presence? Um, I feel ashamed about this because there have been times when my fellow squirrels have been like, hey, can you, can you be a lookout? And yes, I'm up in the trees. And yes, I can jump from branch to branch to run away from this goose. But I swear when that goose gets a flapping, he's like a freaking dragon and like s- just swarms up into the trees and starts trying to bite me and like, and just, just swor- swerving and swooping all over the place. And it's terrifying. And, and I have to say, I, I have, occasionally run into the trees into the holes in the trees and just cowering scared because i i was terrified and i thought he was going to eat me a goose eating a squirrel i swear this thing is like you know carnivorous or something um but i feel ashamed that i i had to leave my post and leave my whole territory undefended on the occasions when i've been on guard duty but it was because of this damn goose it was because of the goose so yeah sad times Or a squirrel. You're up, Tony. Squirrel will sit still. Yeah. Well, I am up. Okay. I've now turned the goose into this, like, flame-breathing dragon goose (laughs) with the wingspan of, like, I don't know, an eagle or something. (laughs) Well, I mean, you are a squirrel, apparently. From your perspective, it is enormous. It's huge! It's massive, and it's scary. Geese are big and scary. They are. Although I did watch a video of a woman beating someone over the head with a live goose. What? One time. What? That sounds horrific. It it kind of was, but the goose walked away. Yeah, but that's but no. Like, we don't. We do not promote animal cruelty. Let's skip, skip this. Let's move on. Absolutely. Moving not. on. Moving on. Yes. All right. Uh, it's hard. Your who card. have you lost to your obsession with the goose? Ooh. My wife. She left me. 
Oh no. What what are I mean, you after, doing with this goose, Tony? I really need to know after, this that you're losing your I, wife with your obsession. After with the I goose. tried <laughs> to fend the goose off with the rake, the uh, the the mm, I got I got obsessed. I couldn't get the goose out of my mind. I was I was so like how do I get rid of this goose? Mm. And and I I tried are you everything. Sure you don't and, have a fetish for it now? Hmm? Every time the goose appeared in in town, I would try new things to try and get rid of it. I tried hitting it with the rake first. After mm -hmm. that didn't work. I tried a shovel. The shovel didn't work. After mm. after the oh shovel, my. I decided to try like locking the doors. It found keys. It couldn't I couldn't keep it out. Um as I, I was like, okay, well, maybe, maybe if I try, eventually I tried to run it over with a car and it just didn't work. I, 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 I swear I ran it over, but it was still in the road and it was unharmed. I don't know how or why. And I mean, after, after weeks of this, my wife was upset with me over the, over my obsession and the number of things that I had bought in mm. pay, in an attempt to, to get rid of this goose. And she's just like, just ignore it. It just causes trouble and it doesn't hurt anyone. And and I'm like, it is horrible, and I must do something about it. Is it is infecting the squirrels of the wood, I'll tell you. That's not not nothing, not harming anyone. Hmm? Hmm? What about me? You see these pieces of flesh falling, dripping off of me? Hello? Does the world see, see the infected flesh? squirrel? Well, I well, nobody does. Because the dang goose scared off the photographer, and I couldn't have my 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 little uh, piece in the magazine. I was looking for a cover photo. I wanted to be a cover girl. God darn it. Oh, <laughs> my opportunity to be a star is over. Sad times. Meanwhile, <laughs> photographer in the background is trying to get this perfect image and the squirrel is just dramatically flopping everywhere. <laughs> yes. you know, monologuing. I am such a squirrel, diva. Like, I am meant like to be a model. Diva posing, yes. but like facing the wrong direction. <laughs> like like it's it's facing into the distance, just posturing oh. and doing poses and like, yes. me, yes. I'm fantastic. And the photographer's over Indeed. on the other side getting a really bad <laughs> angle. Like I'm trying look at me, squirrel. <laughs> Oh, sad times. <laughs> Hurting no one indeed. Oh, I feel so attacked. Mm. Okay, Mario. Ah, you blinked. <laughs> what artistic endeavor has the goose inspired? How do you feel about the piece? Well, I would feel much better if Squirrel would sit still every once in a while. Candy doesn't pay for itself, you know. I have to... <laughs> Go to my grandmother's house. I have to go fish out her dentures from the fishbowl again. Oh, dear. Because every other day, piranha this, piranha that. The woman's obsessed. I wonder what's her deal with fish some days. Oh, my. As that soon as I, scary. As soon as we figure, as soon as we figure all scary. that out. Does she have all her <laughs> fingers left? Holy fuzzy cats. Jeez. That's the funny thing. She keeps her fingers just fine. Nails have gotten sharper lately. <laughs> I just figured she files them funny. I see. I see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but yeah, turn. goose. Yeah. After the goose bit a few of like the local animals, this one of the squirrel. You could tell the squirrel is completely infected by the go by the goose bite. Mm, yeah, it's I'm. Just, I'm oozing, oozing like green particles all over the place. It's bad. It's the nasty. most perfect. Dripping ooze, the sun is just sparkling and mm -hmm. glistening off of this squirrel. If I could oh just get the right picture, it would oh. be the perfect cover for the <laughs> Halloween section in the tabloids. And meanwhile, like I need to be a little bit more aware of my surroundings. I miss the photographer. I'm I I I, I look up from my like oh you know fainting pose with my my little hand on my head and just flop downward. And then I look up and, oh, no, the photographer's leaving. No, I wave, I wave. My little tail twitching in, in, in the sunlight. And, like, um, no, my little squirrel hands are too small. And I try chirping. Still walking. But, but yeah, still walking. Yeah. All right. You've lost many nights of good sleep thanks to the goose. How did you spend them? Well, for one thing, I had to go and find what I could, uh, materials 
And this may be TMI unless you're into Halloween, but I had to find a needle and some thread to sew up my wounds, kind of, you know, it hurts somewhat, but like, you know, when you're infected this bad and your flesh is kind of sort of halfway falling off, you like, you know, have a bit of numbness there too. Um, I tried to get some leaves and, and sew up the patches where my, you know, underneath the skin is showing and like there's some bones sticking out as well. Those kind of hurt. I'm, I'm surprised I have the dexterity that I do. I can still operate all my limbs. Maybe this is some kind of magic disease because like if it was real, like if a, a cat bit me or something and tore a piece of flesh, I'm pretty sure my arm wouldn't work anymore, but I, I can do everything that I normally could. I just look like, I mean, there's no man squirrels that are going to want to take me out for a date. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking so terrible, but at least I have this unique look that maybe, maybe a photographer of a fashion magazine will notice me one day, okay. but like, um, it's, it's been rough. You know, I've spent many nights sewing myself together. I feel like the Vidians or something like that of Star Trek. And, um, other nights I've spent telling tales to the rest of the squirrel colony, how, how to stay away from this goose, telling them about the horrible, you know, wing dragon fire like thing that's going on there. That's terrifying. And that's part of it for them to forgive me for, you know, copping out on the night watch sometimes. And um, other times I've just cried myself to sleep because my life has been irretrievably, irrevocably, something with an eye changed by this goose. Uh, and I, I, I feel sad about it. I feel vengeful about it. I want to get that goose and I kind of want to say I want to infect it just like it did me, but like if it has the infection and it's not oozing green, like, I don't know, this goose must be supernatural or something. I don't know what's going on with this goose, but it's, it's been terrifying. Irrevocably. That's the word I was looking for. I found it finally. Yay. Yay, brain. <laughs> Card. <laughs> yes. A honk woke you up in the middle of the night. What did you reach for on your bedside table? <gasps> that sounds I good. think I, I I heard a sudden middle of the night honk mm -hmm. and I reached I think I think I reached for my crucifix and crucifix? and my you think I think it's demonic? I think I, at this point, I think I have decided that it is somehow demonic okay. because I can't, I can't That's kill fair. it. I've tried so many things mm. and it, it won't stop. I can't stop it. The, t the whole town thinks I'm crazy. They, they mm. think that I'm, that, that my, my obsession with stopping the goose is, is crazy. Like it's, it's just a force of nature. It's a thing that happens. We just ignore the goose. It goes away. No one, yeah, but no what one about all the other animals in the forest that are getting infected? There are deer infected. There are, um, I think they're called infected deer or blighted deer or something like that. In WoW, there's all these animals that are infected. Squirrels Blight and deer and nice. I can't remember the rest of them, but I'm sure there's like wild boar out there or um, what else lives in the forest? Animals. I'm sure there animals is. Animals are and infected. Raccoons. Raccoons. And yeah, am... let's go for those. I am very concerned about all of these things, but the rest of the town, the rest mm -hmm. of the town doesn't seem to care. Really? They, they seem, they seem weirdly Has there been any news, like, in the news? Uh, um, Mari, the... you would know this. You're a photographer oh, from Magazine. well, I, Has I am a photographer. You are right. Now, lately, everybody's just been wanting to focus on the, the new, the coming of the new moon, and... Oh, yeah, and the festival! That's right. Yeah, yeah. There's like a there's like a um a tennis ball festival. So I heard where people like get their tennis balls and they like paint them with faces and stuff. I don't understand it myself. This seems silly to me. I mean, being an infected squirrel, who cares about tennis balls? Those are like Indeed. you know uncatchable the whole town prey cares for about me. Them. The, yeah, my, yeah. My grandmother in particular loves the tennis balls. She she loves going after them every time i throw them it's a it's a hobby of hers <laughs> i keep my finger it gives her exercise yeah that's good and lately they've been doing almost like halloween where they have like paint faces on them and stuff like that 
And they have these weird games where, like, they throw them at each other, and if you get hit, there's a certain something consequence that I can't think of right now. <laughs> uh, you have to go into the... Yeah, you gotta go into the ball pit. Oh, yeah, the ball pit. Yeah, yeah, instead of, like, plastic balls, they have tennis balls in the ball pit. Full yeah, of faces. Uh, full of faces, yeah, yeah. That'd be terrifying to get to get dropped into into a ball pet of nothing but fuzzy faces. <laughs> yes, yes, very, very. <laughs> so, and like Halloween, they also give away candy for winners and and also to the kids because kids aren't able to compete really. They're you know. Yeah, they don't let kids. them compete anymore. They're not after fully the... formed adults yet. They after the the uh, after what happened like a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I can't forget that. You remember what happened then, Tony? Mm. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> Mari, can you refresh us? Hazy. <laughs> well, there was this incident where it seemed like for a moment the hole just with the where the tennis balls were, where the, when the kids jumped in, there was like this loud honking noise. We thought the goose was here, but when we looked back at the ball pit, the kids were just gone what i don't know if you were there no i wasn't there i didn't see that you mean like the goose ate them we don't know where did your kid wait does it like happen normally in this town we're like no let's just kill off all the kids in the town and we're completely unconcerned about the goose Right? Well, luckily, it wasn't all happened. of the children. It's not all of the children. Just a couple. A couple children went missing. And possibly a few and local insects. Who knows? They get people, in there. People uh. are concerned. They miss their children. But, I mean, you can't do anything about it. You just, you just move on Of course on you can. Dad. You have to go and hunt down this goose, no? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to hunt this goose. I We must do something. But the rest of the town, the rest of the town is just... Now, I mean, did you lose just... a child? Maybe it was only your child that got eaten by the goose. Maybe I did. Maybe that's why I. That's maybe that's. Maybe why I, I did. You don't sound very confident. Are you sure well, that I'm, you're you're okay there? Is your brain working well? I'm I'm not okay. This goose is terrible. My my brain is fuzzy, and and I'm not okay. And I need to deal with this goose. It must be dealt with. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Whose turn is it? <laughs> Mari's go, yeah. please. Someone offered you a way out of this nightmare. Who was it, and why did you decline? Ugh. Mm. Do you remember what happened? Because I remember. Mm. Uh, something about spoons over forks. Well, that was a whole different conversation entirely. I had mm. to change my gra my grandmother's silverware lately. She's been... Ah. chewing on the metal it's oh my god odd. i think you should take her to a doctor mari that sounds very rough i have already done that but the doc says she's fine oh my god okay i mean the guy has three eyes he's got to know what he's talking about <laughs> yes yes indeed this town is hor horrifically cursed <laughs> it's, it's interesting for sure i guess they you know what they say about three the, eyes uh... it's oh. more than two <laughs> Indeed. Well, that yeah, I I know that one. I know that phrase. So what I heard, Mari, is that someone offered to whisk you away to another city to live, and they were going to set you up with an apartment because they couldn't stand the the story of this goose because it's really horrible. But I heard that you declined because you wanted to get a picture of fabulous me. You wanted the infected. It's true. Picture because I'm the only one in the world that i know of who has this sort of like magical weird wasting disease and yeah. flesh dripping disease and you love the glistening I, you couldn't I get know. that my, out of your head absolutely my cousin <laughs> he just he doesn't understand he i i understand i guess he's concerned sometimes what with my waning mental health having to change grandmother's litter box every day but hear me <laughs> out <laughs> I just have to get a picture of the squirrel. That's so good, Mari. <laughs> Grandmother's he has such a box. flair for nonsense. 
it's great. It's so she good. Has an amazing nonsense is actually nonsense. really hard to do. I, I I know a comedian who does it, and it, it is difficult. And you are just great at it. It's I fantastic. cannot <laughs> I cannot compete with her in nonsense contests. Like so no, many no, times. No, no, I I've agree. Tried. You don't talk nonsense at all, Tony. You're you're very logical. I I can occasionally stump mm. her, but she wins ninety percent of the time. No, no, she's she gonna is, win this. She's gonna win this. Mm -mm. She's so much better at nonsense than I yes. am. <laughs> okay, card for me. The goose has cost you a fortune. Which possession was hardest to lose? Hmm. It was my bed, actually. So oh. the goose figured out which tree we store all the nuts in. Like the whole squirrel collective, we have like we have living trees and then we have like our granary tree which holds all the nuts, all the acorns and other stuff that we've gathered to last through the winter. And goose found as typical you know the cartoons are actually right you know there is a tiny door in the bottom of the tree and the tree is hollow and if you break down the door the nuts all spill out they just you know oh. flow out just like a cartoon because cartoon people know how squirrels live i don't know whether they spend time in the woods or what but anyway the goose decided with its sharp beak and breathing freaking fire it sort of like jammed its beak in the uh, in the door and then then blew a whole bunch of fire up the center of the tree. So the, the 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 nuts were all pouring out and then they were on fire and all the squirrels were like running around in panic, their arms raised, tails twitching. Just th there was this you could hear the screeching almost a mile away through the whole forest. It like spooked every single animal in that area. And we, because we lost our fortune, our entire winter's collection of food. Now we do have a couple of granary trees. So we were going to have to like, you know, ration, like only having half the food during the winter. Um, and the worst thing was that then, as if that wasn't enough, this goose not eating our food, but destroying it with fire and brimstone, then decided to go flapping around and poking its beak into all the other little, uh, or not all of them, but many other little of our entrances into the trees. And they're at various heights, because, you know, we're, we're squirrels, we can climb, we do things, we have, some of us enjoy, you know, balconies on the, on the penthouse floor, that kind of thing, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, we are, we are, we are posh squirrels after all. We know how to live. And, um, Goose poked his beak or her beak. Is it a he or a her? Do we know? Has anyone checked the underneath? I don't know. Anyway, um, Goose poked its beak into my home and destroyed my beautiful, beloved bed. Now, this is a bed that was hand, well, tooth carved by my grandfather Aww. and it had beautiful beautiful details it was like the headboard was like if you can imagine like the 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 side posts of the bed it was two squirrel um statues holding an acorn up toward each other so that the two acorns met in the middle and then there was you know a little bit of a backing to that but it was so beautiful. It was like squirrels coming together in love and friendship and sharing their their bounty. That was that was the sculpture it was and and the rest of it it had beautiful twist work on the 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 bottom legs of the 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 posts um of the bed and it was very special to me and it was passed down through my family of course and 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 now I'm sad because I would only ever have been the lone squirrel in the bed. Oh, woe is me because I couldn't get a date. I don't know of any squirrels who fancy rotting squirrels like as a as an aesthetic. So hmm. maybe from a neighboring village. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, not I couldn't even have that sad, lonely time of being depressed and alone and single. Now there's actually no bed to be single in sad times. Very sad. <laughs> Wait, last Friday Sorry. smelled so delicious. What made you declare war? Was it too late? Well, I this mean, this is a I perfect question war. for you, gosh. <laughs> I nice. declared war. I saw this and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Did this question actually come up for me? And yes, it did. <laughs> um, 
I declared war because this goose is a menace and mm. no one else wants to deal with it. No one else will solve this problem. Was even trying to solve this problem. And yes, it was too late. We have already lost children. We have lost villagers. We have lost property. It has devastated this town for years at, to this point. And, and no, one, no one is trying to stop it. Yeah, that's rough. I, I mean, I'm doing my best, but all I can basically do is hide in a tree. Uh, you know, I don't have any weapons against this squirrel. I do I feel mean, like maybe I should take a, a note from It Takes Two, you know, the game, and mm -hmm. like maybe build a slingshot or a catapult or something, I don't know, with my little squirrely hands. Well, I've got mm -hmm. a camera, but... Yeah, that's not good at declaring war, unless you shame it. Maybe that's the way. Mm. A shame article for the a goose. A shame article that's for it. the goose. Can you believe that when he attacked the squirrels, he didn't actually burn all the food? I mean, what is that? Leaving some out to rot? That's freaking cheating, you stupid goose. You can't even destroy things properly. Hmm? Right. <laughs> well, I don't know about that one. It seems more like it's encouraging the goose to go try and find your stocks. Well, yeah, but we, we need to shame it somehow. And maybe if it's shamed mm. on like a DPS perspective, it would be okay. Like it would get it then. Well, maybe if we had more of a grandma, <laughs> no, stop scratching that post. <laughs> Is your grandmother a cat for some reason? What are you talking about? She's a perfectly functioning old lady. Grandma, get that out of your mouth. I'm fairly <laughs> certain that that's a cat that you are speaking of. Anyways, your question. No, 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 it's your, isn't it yours? Oh, no, I yeah, Mari, Mari's, you're right. It's my yay. The goose's rampage once made you a good friend. What unfortunate event did the two of you bond over? Tony? What? You bonded over Tony? Yeah, you, you need to elaborate. You just said my name. You have a point there. Anyway. <laughs> I was I think I was trying to form a story in my head and I overthought it. <laughs> Anywho, I believe the bonding incident happened when you had burst into the newsroom to well practically leap over the damn table to attack the head chief of the journalist office. I think we have a business name, but I can't ever remember. I'm too busy with other things these days. Talking about the editor, you talking about the time that I that I choke slammed the editor into the wall and was just declaring, "You must make people know that the goose is a problem." Yes, that one, that one. I I tried to, I tried to calm you down. I took you out for coffee. We had to talk, and I offered to try to get you some pictures with this of the goose to prove that this is yes. an actual menace. Right. I, however, I need, also need help getting a picture of a Dane squirrel, and you're the only person in town, for some reason, who has those animal catch nets. Well, he does a lot of trapping, so it makes sense. Trying so I figured if you help me catch the squirrel, and I can get a, finally get a gorgeous picture of that sleek green coat... <laughs> runny coat. Yes, runny coat. <laughs> Natural lubrication, oh. right? <laughs> oh. That just makes yes. me gag. The idea of like a slimy green squirrel makes me yeah. gag. It's pretty <laughs> bad. It looks it looks pretty nasty in the uh the sprite. <laughs> uh yeah, I, mean... I would definitely help you try to catch the squirrel if you would help me deal with the ghost. Absolutely. We'll shame the heck out of this Dane's <laughs> goose. 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 Sorry, I'm drunk. What what was in this coffee again? Rum. Delicious. I'd like another. <laughs> I've had five. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. I think it's your turn. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. The goose has forced you to quit a hobby. What was it and why are you happier now? Well, you know, 
we, uh, as squirrels, we are crafty people. We have a lot of uh, ability in that, in that way. And like other squirrels, I was also doing crafts and stuff in my spare time. And my specialty, we took some, uh, inspiration from spiders and, uh, we made these things that I believe the humans call dream catchers, but they were actually more like spider webs that we made and we used them to catch uh, little insects because uh, they are part of a good, you know, part of the protein. We do need a little bit of protein to survive. And uh, so that was a thing that I, I was very adept at doing is making these, these um, dream catcher slash bug catching thingies. But when the goose started flapping and swooping around in our tree uh, canopies, all of these dream catcher thingies would, would, were breaking, you know, he broke through them and knocked them down and, and all of that. And um, so I just had to give it up because, oh, whoops. Uh, I had to give it up because it what they would they, it was just destroying everything, and um, why why uh, and and the reason I guess it makes me happier is because I kind of wanted to follow in the footsteps of my grandfather and be a sculptor rather than a dream catcher maker. I mean they're fine, but you know I I was always kind of wanting to do the other profession and. Um, it was my mom who encouraged me to get into dream catching because like nobody or, or insect catching because nobody else was doing it. I mean, it's kind of nasty. You got to pick the bugs out of the nets and all the things. And it's kind of a dirty job that nobody would want to do. And uh, so that's why it was like, you can make much more income doing this. But little did she know, I really wanted to be a model. Hello. Um. So, yeah. But I mean, the, being a model is dependent on those pesky humans with their cameras. They're so fickle. They won't even look for me in the forest. I'm so sad. So Why I have to get you? a realistic profession like being a sculptor. And I, I probably should start by making another bed for myself. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, that's that's why I'm a bit happier is that I can actually get into sculpting now and, and don't have to do this because... Uh, you know, Goose has made it impossible for anyone. And I don't know how we're going to get like more, more, more protein in our diets. We might have to plant like a meat garden or something. Maybe the bits of flesh falling off of me can just be planted and grow into meat trees or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Planting bits of zombie flesh just... to grow meat trees. Whole well, description ma is making me yes. imagine this like little <laughs> squirrel village, just like in a grove of trees in a fairy yes. circle, and it's all fancy and decorated. Yeah, and we got farms, and... man. We got meat trees growing. So we're we're gonna cute. get meat trees growing. <laughs> and you have, and you had at one point a bunch of like spider web dream catchers in yes. the trees. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting visual. I I, oh, I, God. I, I can see say. Mari starting to draw this one day. I'm drawing oh, it in my God. head, but I'm just also imagining those trees that always end up with the silkworm. Uh -huh. Oh, that stuff in it. Yeah, the, the mulberries. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. Like true. mulberry, some grafted mulberry inside some sort of tree colony. That sounds yeah. so cool. Or Spanish moss hanging down and all the Ooh, things. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. All right. I mean, so. Card. My love, if you if you wish to draw that, go ahead. Just don't spend too much time on it. I drew it in my head. <laughs> Where can you no nice. longer go because of the goose? I'm no longer welcome in so many places in town. But in particular, I'm no longer welcome in the newspaper building. I'm no longer welcome in the town council building. They they have security guards posted outside. They do not let me inside because they're afraid that I'm going to assault the city council again. Again, I again, did, I did. Mm. I did <laughs> one time tackle the the head of the city council and just demand that they do something about the goose because we need to do something about this terrible, goose. terrible mm. monster. This that is, horrible goose, no less. This, mm. this horrible goose that is terrorizing this town, and and I seem to be the only person, except for the journalist, the the photographer who who is interested in stopping this monstrosity i'm not mm. really interested in stopping the monstrosity i uh, have but i'm willing you're at like this point infect this... more animals i'm gonna get more pictures 
I just want to hinge all my bets on him catching the squirrel. Mm. Uh, yeah. So you you are not we... you are not actually looking to stop the goose. You are just. Using I mean, me. let it, I mean, you can't stop the goose. Why would you want to stop the goose? Because it's horrible. Nine out of ten doctors have told everybody that goose is good for them. There are ten doctors in this town, and nine of them have been bitten by the goose. <laughs> That's hardly the point. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, oh, ah! dear. Well, then! The goose is back. What do you do? You got the traps? Starting with Mari. What what are you doing? I'm I have my camera all set up. It's like three other cameras in different places. I'm holding up this little little uh, device to click immediately as soon as the squirrel is inside the net. Net? Oh no. We're trying to catch the squirrel and also there's this there's the goose. Yeah, but I'm like, so, you, so you're so Tony's trying to catch the goose. Mari's trying to well, catch I'm, the squirrel in the net. Yeah, <laughs> we have yeah. we have traps set up for both. Yeah, and... it's like we have everything ready, but the goose chose that day to mess everything up. No, no, no. Goose is good for people. Uh, the goose is good for the town. So good. What has happened no, to you? The goose is terrible. Wait. You were almost agreeing! What happened? No, the goose is terrible. The goose must be stopped. Oh! 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 There are people there! Oh! 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 Let me run! Let me run! Maybe they'll see me! Maybe I can get my photograph at last! Oh! This is gonna be great! Oh! I'm watching! I'm walking! I'm holding my hands out in the air! Please! Please! Please see me! My tail's a-twitching! My tail's up! I'm fuzzing it! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I've fallen down! Oh! Help! Oh! I'm not a flying squirrel! I'm in a net! I'm oh. in a net! How do I get out of here? I'm on my back! There's a goose. I can't get out of here! <gasps> The goose is after me! <laughs> oh, it's backing whoa, at whoa, me! Whoa, 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 Help! Squeak, 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 squeak! No, 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 no I gotta get the I picture! Oh, I gotta I'm, get I'm riding! I gotta get the picture! I'm, oh, no, oh, no, Squeak! Oh, no. oh, no, the goose! It's gonna eat me! Oh. Goose is doing that, and I am just calmly, like, loading the shotgun that I, that I acquired. And, and I'm like, all right, we're gonna try this. And I'm just shotgun the goose. And nothing happens. The goose just looks at me and honk. As and he's munching break. on the squirrel. And I just break. I'm like, well, no, we can't no, stop no, no. the goose from terrorizing no, no, the no, town. No, 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 this is bad. This is bad. Wait, Grandma, Grandma, what are you doing here? Grandma, stop. Don't stay we away from the goose. Stop that... the goose from terrorizing the town, then we must just. And Grandma takes a great big Grandma... bite out of that goose. Holy fuzzy cats. What? Holy flaming geese. The goose, she bites the goose right in the neck. Breaks, kind of breaks it apart. So goose whoa, 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 is whoa. cooked. That's what I... And grandma literally eating the yeah. goose. Raw. Absolutely raw. Just, raw. Just... Thanks to your grandma, Mari. The secret hero of the story. Was a... Grandma, where are your dentures? An old woman who thought she was a cat is the solution to this goose problem. Dang. All right. Well, poor Mari, you have no more dripping flesh to take pictures of. Sad times. Sad times. And I, I stop like in the middle of of like attempting to to line the shotgun up to just end it so i didn't have to deal with this pain anymore and i oh. see the old woman eating the goose yeah and you become jubilant this is great your life has gotten better today yeah the diva squirrel is no more squirrel wait and then i question what, is that? what am i gonna do what, with what is life? this growing out of the ground here have you is seen this plant tree? before is it a so squirrel it's, meat tree? <laughs> it's all green. Oh my goodness. Look at the little squirrels coming off. They look just Aww. like her. Aww. I've got to get a picture of this. 
click, yeah, click, click, it's click, a squirrel click. growing tree. That's now fantastic. there's a whole subreddit dedicated to tiny, <laughs> illegally small zombie squirrels. <laughs> Eagerly yeah. small zombie squirrels. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Well, I think that is a fitting ending for our story today. We hope you have enjoyed this edition of a For the Queen style game, this horrible goose. And we'll put the uh, the link of where to get this game. Uh, it, it was free. We just played it off a website and uh, we hope that you have enjoyed this very, very much. Thank you, uh, Tony and Mari, for being part of this crazy adventure today it was very <laughs> that was very ridiculous yes so um anyway thank you so very much for joining us take care of yourselves and each other and we'll see you next time Bye bye